Hello everybody and welcome to another Planetary Annihilation multiplayer video. I am Seatop and today I'm playing Master Robot. So already he has the advantage. Because he's the master of robots. Uh, I forgot where we landed. Uh, was it over here? I don't think we've landed quite yet. Let's fast forward. Yep, there we are. So we both happen to pick the same planet over here just because I think it has a lot more metal resources. So that's pretty obvious. I, maybe I should have picked the other one because I knew that was going to happen. So we both land. I mean to do my normal thing. Metal, energy, vehicle factory. And over here, Master Robot is basically doing the same thing. Uh, looks like I got the f I got the jump on him though. I have my first vehicle factory going. He's doing another metal extractor. Hmm. It's a bit strange, but what are you going to do? Normally, you want to start with a base of everything just so you can start getting more fabricators going. So you can take the lead. In my mind. Maybe there's a better way to do it? I'm not too sure. That feels like overkill of metal right now. Yeah, he definitely has a lot more. Anyway, I have my first fabricators up, so they're going to go ahead and start working on more metal extractors, energy plants, radar, and just building more factories overall. Over here, it looks like he's doing approximately the same thing. We're going to fast forward a bit more. Oh, uh, it looks like we're going to meet each other in a little bit. Yep, our metal extractors are going to start overlapping. Hop on over here. I've begun work immediately on my orbital launcher just to get a good foothold on the other planet and in orbit here. Which is something I like to do early game. Some people might say it's inefficient, but who knows. I also have another advanced vehicle factory going up here, as well as metal energy storage down here. Currently don't have anything coming out of my vehicle factories. Probably haven't noticed yet. There we go. Now I noticed. And over here, he's actually started off with some tanks, so he's sending some bolos. Over here, he's taking out my metal extractors, replacing them with his own. What a jerk. So already, I think I have... Yep, I have the energy and metal advantage right away, just because I built more fabricators than him. And that way I was able to get more, more energy up, more metal up. And his commander's not doing anything, he's just standing up there. You gotta use your commander, especially in the early game. Let's fast forward a bit more. Okay, sending some guys over, but now I have some tanks up, and I'm about to have this Pelter set up. And I'm working on my first uh, orbital fabrication bot. Actually, I do have uh, Strayus right now, so he's going to go down and grab, as usual, he's going to go grab a, whatchamajigger, a fabricator and take him over to the other planet, Bacon. <laughs> All right. So I have a fabrication bot up here. He's going to go ahead and start work on a orbital, what's a jigger? Orbital factory? I believe that's what it's called. It looks like he's poking the bear some more with some bolo tanks, but because of my um, energy and metal efficiency, I'm able to fabricate a lot, a lot more quickly than him. So I'm going to have the numbers advantage eventually. So he's got a quite a bit right now actually let's check the numbers yep so I have more units just because I think I have more fabricators than him but I do have turrets and pelters here so I, I set up a little bit of defense oh here it is the orbital factory there we go so I have this guy uh, has he picked him up yet no nope, he's just oh maybe I already sent a different one did I send a different one does not look like it. Uh, let's check it up on what he's doing. I sent over an acrid just to kind of spy, just to look around, and see what's going on. Fast forward a bit more. I'm just building up my army. Oh, yeah, he had a bomber uh, come in, and I I didn't have an anti-air, so I hurried up and quickly built some spinners. That's where all these guys got damaged, and was able to take them out. Uh, I have some catapults being built here, both my advanced fabrication vehicles. It's because I like these things, they're nice, they have really good range, so if these guys pass like this line, I'm going to be able to hit them with my catapults. In fact, I think they're going to do that shortly. So if you look here, see my, actually let's go back a little more, let's see what the range of these catapults, yep. 
So about this line here, I'm going to start hitting them. So that's already going to be taking them out. And these things fire and build a lot more quickly than I thought they would. Probably because they are um, advanced vehicle fabrications units. And then to back those guys up, I have... I um, think I have some of these advanced... Oh, I don't have any of them yet. The long range artillery vehicles. Uh, start getting some bots or some docks work it to use as fodder I guess. <laughs> Docks are kind of useless but they absorb fire so I use them to basically uh, they're gonna be faster so they're gonna be on the front line and they're gonna absorb a lot of the incoming fire from the enemies. Look I can still hit them with these catapults. They have no idea. See so he actually has uh, an Avenger over here for some reason isn't attacking my spy satellite. Oh uh, if we head over to Casper... I'm not there yet really? I thought I sent a guy. Hmm. Let's fast forward a bit more. Looks like I'm going to start sending some guys over. Uh, so I basically have destroyed his army here. Especially using these guys. I love shellers. Really good for taking out vehicles and stuff. Oh wait, did we miss it? Oh, there's something important that happens here. Here we go. Rise, my army's coming in. Look at this. Pops down. Grabs his commander, and off they go. So he's going to be sending his commander to the other planet, a place I have yet to go. So he barely got his commander out of there in time, because then this army comes through. I this army probably wouldn't have been enough to defeat the commander, but then I would have backup. So that basically completely wipes out the this whole base here. So we have to head over to Bacon, see what his commander's up to. And he's just going to be building up here. Energy, factories, etc. Orbital launcher, because he wants to protect his orbit. I did send my spy satellite over here, so I have an idea of what they're doing. And so what I'm going to do is do my little sneaky trick. I'm still just on the other planet just building stuff up. Oop, looks like I lost my energy efficiency. But since I completely wiped them off of Casper, I'm going to be able to build up a lot more metal energy storage over there, because I have a lot more room. And I have just the hero over here, this one little fabricator bot building up the teleporter and let's just zoom out so you can get a full feel of this, there we come <laughs> not only do I have this massive army but I'm also building nuclear missile launchers on this planet oh yes and actually, I think here comes. Uh, this was glitching out earlier. So it's making the nuclear launch alert for some reason. Here it comes. And so I launched a missile just that they destroyed my spy satellite, so I don't have a great idea where they were. So I just launched it right in the middle of where I thought they were. Took out their orbital factory. Almost took out this commander. So we nuked them. And now I have this giant army coming in. Maybe overkill. But I think this is funny. Watch their commander. So here's this army, and I'm like, hey, where's their commander? <laughs> just basically sending my scouts out. Just broke my army up looking for the commander. And he just dances around and just avoids them. And I'm like, oh, I got the whole planet covered. And maybe he's on a satellite. So I'm checking back on Casper. I'm looking around for him. He starts building up, and I just randomly send an army over here. I wasn't even paying attention. The game ended, and I didn't even know why. Because this army just happened to find him. And there you go. <laughs> Last shot by this leveler. And that's going to do it. So I definitely outgunned uh, Master Robot here. Was able to get my troops up first, especially over on Casper, I was able to build up, get my fabricators going early, get more factories going, and just basically take this planet by force, and then was able to sneakily follow him, because if he had been scouting around on the other planet, and had he would have stopped me from building the teleporter, if I didn't get the teleporter, then I wouldn't have been able to come over there. He should have definitely tried to scout that planet more, that way he could have stopped me. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me for some more Planetary Annihilation multiplayer. We're getting a little more advanced each time, so that's good. Maybe we can start playing in the big leagues soon. 
Have a good one.